Hey, it's Wabbit. Hope you're doing well. Two things I want to cover in this video. I want to give you an update on the Rodecaster Pro 2, my story, my experience with it after getting it back from a warranty replacement. And then some big news coming out of Rode. And I just want to focus on one that I personally will find of benefit is they are now going to allow us to uh, connect wireless microphones to the Rodecaster Pro 2. Now, I want to point out that very first paragraph. And this is one of the things that just frustrates me when companies do it. While I appreciate it, notice they said here, this is from their website, unlocks an incredible hidden feature. <laughs> I've seen this done with other companies before. Personally, I would just wish, and again, I don't know the behind the scenes and, and maybe there's some issues related to having it when it first came out. But I just know in the community space, when people like myself uh, make these requests or can, can this happen, you're going to get those people that say, no, it's not possible. And I, and I dealt with that. And part of me, I mean, I since left the, the group and I'll talk about that. I would love to go back there and just, you know, like in your face, dude, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. So I really appreciate this. Uh, I don't know when this firmware update is going to be out. I can't find anything uh, on the social. So maybe by the time you're watching this video, it's already uh, been released. Uh, I do have the wireless go too, and I'm excited. But again, please make sure you check the the site, the website, uh, to determine which microphone will be compatible. Um, you know, based on what you have. Uh, I would also encourage you to go over Rode.com because there are other products that are being released. Uh, but personally, there's nothing that's going to benefit myself, and I'm sure there are a lot of people uh, that will be talking about it. All right, let's head back over to the device and let's talk about uh, this. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this, this was part of a warranty replacement. I got it back in January of 2023, so it's now April of 2023, so it's been about four months, and just wanted to kind of provide you some updates. The original reason why I sent it in was the pads were firing off when you bumped into the desk or touched the device. Uh, Rode determined that was a defect, and they replaced it with a brand new unit. That situation has resolved. The other two things uh, that have been happening with the prior device, they're not happening as much, uh, but they still are. Uh, the, the, the first one is when I record audio into the device. Now, unlike what I'm doing right now is I'm using a microphone, I've not had any problems when I record this way into the Rodecaster Pro 2. I'm even doing it for this video as a kind of a test, and we'll find out if it, if it cuts out on me, then, then there we go. Uh, the issue that I'm having is when I'm recording audio in from either the computer uh, or external gear uh, plugged into it. And it's very inconsistent. Uh, I've tried to record sessions so I can, you know, share with uh, customer support. And the, the, t the few times that it's happened, I just haven't had the camera up. Um, the other thing that I've noticed from time to time is when I go to power off the device, I have to unplug it to completely power it off. It just kind of sits there and hangs. And I, I've left the, the Facebook group uh, because for this reason, I was in there as an admin and really trying to do my best to support this device. And I just in, in good conscience couldn't do it. Um, there are other reasons because I'm, I'm really becoming more of a, a fan of the experience versus being a fan of the brand. And having a device that you know, was not giving me the same type of results I was seeing with the original Rodecaster Pro 2. I, I just couldn't do that. And the other reason why I'm doing this video, because I know I've talked about this before, and if someone sees this and they buy it, and then they start having problems, I just don't want to be, you know, that, that video or that person that did not share the complete story with you. With that being said, you've got to make a decision that works best for you. So you may hear people that are having great success with it and I might be the oddball out and that's cool. Um, that's why I preface, this is my story, this is my experience. And I don't want to, you know, say, Hey, this thing's a piece of crap because I had a few bad, you know, things that occurred or a few frustrations. Um, that's just how this, how tech works. I get it. I also, I'm not sponsored by Road. I don't work for them. I, I, I have no affiliation. The, this device was bought with my own money. So I just feel that I owe it to the consumer to give you my experience and then you decide what you want to do. Now, I'm going to come back in maybe 30, 60, 90 days and just kind of update 
Uh, I'm I'm going with the assumption, which I recommend you never do, <laughs> that maybe a future update will address some of these things. Um, I do uh, try and record my session so I can maybe hopefully capture one of these. Uh, I'm just going to call it bug. Uh, that way I can send the customer support. Uh, I don't want to go through a third warranty replacement. With that being said, uh, the warranty service or the, the replacement process, customer support, they've been phenomenal. Um, you do have to pay for shipping when you send it back. I know some people, I say that because people don't like it, but you know, it is what it is. That is their policy. Um, so there's nothing else out on the market uh, that does what this thing can do. Uh, the reason why I upgraded it from the original Rodecaster because I outgrew it. And this uh, Pro 2 has uh, two USB-C ports and combo XLR uh, input jacks. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to, uh, I, if I can catch something, I'll record it. Or actually, if I'm recording and catch it, I'll send it to support, see what they say. Um, as much as I don't want to go through a, a third one, I would do it. Uh, with the hope that it gets fixed because I believe uh, the company does put out good products uh, minus another one that I've had some issues with. And that's for a whole other conversation that one of their headsets um, and, and then go from there. That's what I'm going to do. Um, other people. <laughs> and I say this because I've seen people in, in, in the socials. Um, they would not go through that and I don't blame you. So bottom line, do what you got to do. Uh, I, I just want to kind of share my story with you and you decide what you want to do with it. Um, and again, I'll come back uh, down the road and update. It may not help you out right now, uh, but I know there will always be somebody in the market for a device. I will give you this suggestion. If you are set on getting the Rodecaster Pro 2 and you have any hesitations and, and you've heard you know, other stories and you're like, ah, I don't want to do this, but I really, you know, I want to get one. The original was a tank. I had it for three years. I had zero issues. Now, I would encourage you to make sure that the specs will meet your needs. And if it doesn't, and you're still wanting to get the Rodecaster Pro 2, hey, you can always get it. You've got a you've got a receipt. You've got great customer support. You do have a warranty program. You know, but again, understand what you have to do. Um, and if you're comfortable with that, then give it a shot. And if you do, I do hope it works out, and I do hope that you have a great experience because at the end of the day, that's what this is all about, having a good experience. And so far, like I said, I've been recording right now and going on seven minutes or on eight minutes, sorry and no problem. So anyway, that's all I got. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I do hope this finds you well. Be kind to yourself. Get out there and have a lot of fun and just get started.